the mistake that 99% of new editors commits are mistake is the word that all editors are making but with that mistake we we'll learn a lot ask any editor its first video is always the worst one ever made and that editor then comparing to pro always say how is this possible so today let's talk about what are those mistakes you are doing and how to fix it editing is a part where we need full concentration but we lose focus and here is the mistake we all make that watching too much content in social media and not to focus on practicing that thing since i still have this issue and there are many things we as an editor could address it and we did nothing and here is a simple solution you could do that i have found is that try to find the video that you want to practice over the internet like how to add this effect how to add this transition how to make this transition what color it is using this is on that topic after watching all the videos over the internet then practice that effect or scene that the creator had been taught to you if you want the same footage like an creator is using most probably you can get from the free website of like pixabay pixels and many other website and recreate all the effect since when we focus on the editing parts we take a lot of time to rewatch our video this takes to my second mistake is rewatching your video many times editing is only a creative thought by we add some effect into our timeline we rewatch that edit again and again when we add some sound effect then we rewatch again then we add some transition we rewatch again in that speed you can finish your edit but it will take over a month to finish so editing is all about planning that idea now imagine you have one or two edits or more edits and you have to deliver to your client in one week so with that approach you cannot do it avoid this mistake you need to plan your edits this is the workflow i use while i am doing my edit Firstly I arrange all my A roll and B roll in different sequence respectively then I need to clear the audio and sync the audio accordingly After that clear all the unwanted noise and cut the silence from the clip add music then add the transition after adding the clip into the main sequence then add sound effect and at last add text If needed then color grade that footage and this workflow will varies from project to project and you don't have to follow my workflow but when we add transition we overuse the transition in your video as you can see my previous video I, and I hate it but uh, here is the mistake we all make overusing a transition and effect in the video the worst mistake i made as far well as other editors are also doing is adding too much transition into your video firstly i thought adding transition in a video make my video cool better and more engaging but this is wrong you can see my video here still thinking to choose premium pro no and it's there's no pace and it's very worst At the start, I very like it, but now I'm seeing it's not so cool. So here you can do add transition with the meaning. Just hear me out. Like use jump cut, L cuts, and J cuts in your video. And jump cut is very useful with the meaning. Like take an example. I'm talking right now. Then use jump cut to change the view of the video. Just as like apply it. use l cut with the same meaning and j cut and the next mistake should be the color grading the mistake that all the editors in the beginning were doing that adding any color in your video which look tacky here is the workflow when while i doing the color grading into my footage take a, firstly take the reference of the graph graph is the most important part place in the color grading Keep the graph under the 100% and above the 0%. For start, white balance your footage. Then, according to your scene, add some sharpness, brightness, and add some depth. After that, see if their skin tone is correct or not. If skin tone is not correct, use the hue versus saturation effect. Check the dropping tool and select your skin and adjust according to it. After color correcting all your part, 
then according to your mood if you want a cool environment then lower the kelvin level if you want the high environment the brightness environment then increase the kelvin level that started all goes wrong i know it's that all goes wrong but practice that color grading part other than your editing will be very helpful to your video the workflow that i am using totally depend on you you can use it but we are not focusing enough that we all have and here is the my final mistake we all made focus what you have we all saw that buying this care will level of your video and it's all true but at the beginning it doesn't matter just you need to focus on the basic thing whatever you have used as a weapon when you got the money upgrade your gear till you get the satisfaction and buying the dslr is worth it if you want the answer then watch this video bye bye guys and subscribe okay